Hello, good morning, good afternoon, wherever your time zone may be if you're watching this. I've been following this story. Thomas O'Halloran, an 87 year old pensioner, in his mobility scooter, sat outside Tesco's playing an accordion, busking, and trying to raise money for victims of the Ukraine war. Then some complete twat decided that he was going to stab him to death. Well, he was going to stab him quite a few times. You know, like, remember, see the, um, I don't know whether you're aware of this, but the way that the, um, the Nazis would go in and um, silently remove somebody is that they would just go in mob banded three or four, five, six people, six Nazi soldiers descend on a, on a, a single victim and just, yeah, so you get the idea. And uh, Thomas, I believe he went, ooh, 75 yards on his mobility scooter before he could ask somebody for help. Unfortunately, Thomas died of his injuries. Now, now we get to the interesting part. God bless CCTV. I think that's the only time you'll ever hear me say that. The alleged attacker was caught on CCTV with bloodied hands, gloves, sorry, he had gloves on, and he was also holding the murder weapon. Now, as when it comes to cases, when prosecuting the cases, I think the prosecution could probably send in Jeffrey the Magic Giraffe and successfully prosecute this one. I mean, who's gonna to want to defend this chap? I mean, he's caught red-handed on CCTV. As long as the bloke standing in the dock looks exactly like the picture that was caught on CCTV. He hasn't got a defence. Well, he has. He's going to plead insanity, isn't he? Diminished responsibility. And I would, for one, would actually believe him on this one because how fucked in the head would you have to be to stab repeatedly an 87-year-old pensioner in his mobility scooter? He's, he's a soft target. He's not going anywhere. Are we that such a bad society now where things like this can happen? Which is why I'm interested in the story. I want to see what happens from the justice side of things. I mean, I, I am quite angry about it. Not, uh, let's get out there and start shooting people kind of angry. No, not like that. Just, just angry that it could happen. I mean, I know there was... Uh, certain places of London well not certain London at the moment and has been for six months remember that broad daylight stabbing on Oxford Street and then one time this I'm going back a couple of years now that part of Victoria Station the underground part was closed off because a gang had descended on a schoolboy and stabbed him to death in one of the um, the shops that are in the underground areas when they did actually open that up, the shop had gone. I don't think the guy who owned it really wanted to um, to have a shop anymore. I mean, it must be horrible to witness something like that. Anyway, nice to see that all the media is reporting on this story. Sky, uh, LBC, BBC, Guardian, Standard. Even the Irish Times taking an interest in this. So it's quite a major story. I don't want to see it buried. I want to see what happens in court with this guy. Let's have him in the old Bailey. Let's wheel out one of those fucking Old Testament style judges as well. Not one of these more lenient ones. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.